Okay, so as promised in this video, I'm going to show you how to tie all the loose technology ends together so that when somebody types in your specific domain name, your website actually presents itself. So the first thing we're going to do is log into your WP Engine account. And when you do, you'll see on the sidebar, it shows sites. We're going to click on the sites. You'll see that right now, the only place that your website would be viewable would be at your username here, and yours is going to be different than what I show here, .wpengine or sometimes wpenginepower.com, and that is not what we want. We want it to be connected to your proper domain. So we're going to click on the name here, and that takes us to the hosting overview area. We're going to scroll down here where it says environment stats and we're going to click on set primary domain. Once that loads, as I said, right now the website is only available at this domain, which is not helpful to us. We're going to click here where it says add domain. Then it's going to ask you what is your domain URL. So I'm just going to say for this particular agent is keatonbassler.com. And I'm going to select, I've purchased this domain. Like I said, I either buy them at Namecheap or my client here bought this at GoDaddy. So I've purchased this domain and I'm going to click next. Okay, so WP Engine is really slick because for Namecheap and GoDaddy and several others, it will automatically connect your DNS for you. DNS stands for domain name servers. You don't need to worry about any of this technological geekery, so don't worry about it. It says here to configure both KeatonBassler.com and www.KeatonBassler.com, you'll need to log into your DNS twice. Okay, fine. Um, recommended, they give you some steps here, but what I'm going to do is just follow along with their wizard. I'm going to click on, I have read the terms and conditions. This is basically just saying that you're giving permission to WP Engine to log into your GoDaddy. So I'm going to go ahead and click on log into GoDaddy now. And I'm presented with this screen and it says, put your domain to work. Click connect to enable the service WP Engine digital experience platform from WPEngine.com for KeatonBassler.com. I'll just click on connect. And I saw quickly there, it says success. Your DNS settings have been successfully configured and we've provisioned free SSL certs for your domain. So this is another reason why I just love WP Engine. It literally just accomplished three technological steps for me. I didn't have to roll up my sleeves and get into any kind of muckery. It just handled it for me. And that is just super, super convenient. So I'll click out of that. And now when I go back to my sites, when I look at my domains and I scroll down, I can see that everything is properly configured. I've got a green check mark here at KeatonBassler.com. Of course, I have it for the original one and the WP Engine powered and also for the www. version. Now, if there were any issues that you would see here, it's really simple to go in and configure your own DNS and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing, in case this didn't work, I would just copy this C name and if I click here, it will copy it. And then I would log in to my GoDaddy and go to my DNS management and I would click on add a new DNS record. And what I'd choose is C name here. I would type in www and just paste the value that I copied and click add record says the record could not be added, of course, because I already have it connected here. And then I would do the same thing for the A record. I'd go back to WP Engine, and for this A record, I would copy that, and I would just come back in here, and I would add. I'll clear that. I'm going to click on Add, and when I do, it gives me this screen. I'm going to say A record, and this is going to be the at and I would copy that value that I was given at WP Engine and click on add record. It also says record could not be added because you can see I already have it here. But once I did that, when I'd go back to the domains here in WP Engine and refresh the page, then of course all my statuses would show green. So that's a good little troubleshooting step if when you update your domain, you don't receive these green check marks throughout your domain names. 
So another really super cool feature of WP Engine is that after it updates all of our DNS information here automatically, what it does, if you go down to SSL, it automatically and for free installs an HTTPS prefix to our domain name. And what that means is that when somebody visits your website, they're going to be in a secure environment. There'll be a little lock up here in their domain name so that the visitor knows that this website is now secure. So once the HTTPS is enabled, as you'll see here, you'll want to go back to your website and make sure that it is configured as a secure website in the domain settings. And I'll show you how to do that now. Here we are in the back end dashboard of our WordPress installation of our website. I'm going to just go down to make sure that WP Engine properly configured our website to be secure. I'm going to go into settings and then general. And lo and behold, you will now see here, it did put the HTTPS prefix to our website. And that assures us that this website is in fact now secure. And of course we can check that by going up here and click on visit site. And you'll now see there is in fact a lock here on the domain name. So visitors know that they're safe to peruse this website. They're safe to enter any contact information here and that the website is 100% secure. So guess what? You are done. Congratulations, you have completed your professional real estate agent website and it is absolutely gorgeous. It properly tells the market who you are and what your field of expertise is. It defines your farm. It allows you to provide home searches and valuations to connect with your visitors and introduce yourself. It allows your guests to see the people raving about you. It includes your sales numbers and your ratios and transactions, including your farms. It shows all of your listings and it simply looks gorgeous. So congratulations, you did it. You could expect to pay a web designer up to four to $5,000 easily to make this website for you and you built it on your own. Great job.